And of course, nobody wakes up thinking that they may need a blood transfusion, but one Duluth family is certainly thankful that they were able to have one when their daughter needed it the most. Yeah, I got to meet a very brave eight-year-old girl who is currently battling cancer. We got to sit down with her family who is raising awareness about the importance of donating. <laughs> If there's one thing about kids, it's that they love to play outside. Eight-year-old Jana Simonson is no exception. Whether it's flower picking or sandbox digging, Jana and her siblings know how to have fun. And she loves to play with her friends. That's her favorite thing to do. But for the past seven months, Jana has not spent as much time outside as she would like. November is when she first started feeling off. So Monday, right after Thanksgiving, she went in to the urgent care, and right away they recognized something's, something's wrong. From urgent care to the ER, then to Children's Hospital, then to the diagnosis, B-cell A-L-L. -L. Chemo to fight the leukemia started right away and is still ongoing, but Jana's father, John, says she's a fighter. And if you ask her what the worst part about it is, what, what was the worst part about having leukemia? The nose swab thing. The nose swab. So, kind of tells you how good the doctors, nurses, everybody that we deal with are awesome. And they've got this thing figured out. Jana's hemoglobin was dangerously low and she needed blood. John himself had donated in the past, but didn't feel great afterwards, so he decided donating wasn't for him. That all changed after seeing what his daughter is walking through. And now through this experience, when you realize that you're potentially saving someone's life, to feel a little bit queasy or not liking to see blood is not that big of a deal. Now, John is committed to being a regular donor, so Jana and other kids like her can spend as much time as possible playing outside. There are different stages of Jana's treatment plan. She is entering the second to last stage, which is about 50 days long, and then she'll be in maintenance where things will hopefully pretty much be getting back to normal for her. And as for her father, John, it sounds like they've had at least two of these blood drives at his work, and he's hoping to do more as well. So if your business would like to coordinate a blood drive, that is something Memorial Blood Centers can do. Certainly not something that a kid at that age deserves to go through, but the fact that the resources are there uh, when it's needed to help treat her, uh, uh, what just shows how important these blood drives are. Absolutely, and that's what John said is, you know, Jana didn't need a ton of blood, but the blood that she did need, they are so thankful yeah. that there was a supply, and that's thanks to all the donors out there. So an incredible family mm -hmm. for sure.